This video will show how to use the calendar. It assumes that you have already logged on to the app using the same user ID and password that you use on your TrueWeb host website. Begin by tapping the calendar icon on the home page. The calendar lists all of the events for a particular month. In this example, we are showing all of the events for the month of December 2020. You can select a different month at the bottom of the page. This list scrolls horizontally. Scroll to the right to find a future month. Scroll to the left to find a previous month. Tap on a month to display the events for that month. In the upper right corner, you will see a cog icon. You will remember that on the home page, this icon took you to the general settings page. On the calendar, it takes you to the calendar settings page. The calendar settings page has two options. Show all events determines whether you will see all events on the calendar, including those events for which no one in your family is eligible because they are limited to a group to which you do not belong. Turn this off to only see those events that your family can attend. Show shifts will show each shift as a separate entry on the calendar. This only applies to shifts that have a starting and ending time. It does not apply to shifts of type other, which are often used for potluck dinner choices. If you answer no to show shifts, then you will see the event containing the shifts on your calendar, but not the individual shifts. You can still get to those shifts by selecting the event that contains those shifts. At the bottom of the calendar settings page, you will find an explanation for the participation status values that appear next to some events in the calendar. An uppercase yes means that you are personally signed up for that event or for an event in the past that you attended that event. A lowercase yes means that you did not participate but at least one other member of your family did. An uppercase no means that no one in your family signed up or attended. A string of question marks means that you have not yet indicated whether or not you will attend. Tap the blue icon in the upper left corner to return to the calendar. Tap on the name of an event to see the details for that event. At the top of the page, you will see the name and date of the event. Tap on the location to see more information about that location. If your database has the coordinates for this location, you will see a Map It link. Tap on that link to open the mapping app on your phone. The map opens to that location. You can then let it guide you to that location. Nice. Tap the black icon to return to the location page. Tap it again to return to this event. We will talk about signing up for an event in our next tutorial. Scroll down the page to see the leaders for this event, the drivers, and all participants. An asterisk next to the name indicates an adult. You can tap on any name to open the membership record for that individual. Tap on the blue icon in the upper left corner to return to the event. At the bottom of the page, you will see the planned activities for this event. Tap the blue icon in the upper left corner to return to the calendar. Let's look at one other event. This is a virtual meeting. Tap on Join Virtual Meeting to open your browser to the URL that was entered for this event. In the next two tutorials, we will show you how to sign up for events and how to take attendance.